Hey everybody, this is Maxine Taylor and Virgo. I've got your forecast for October. Okay, let's take a look. We start with Mars, action and energy. It's been in your first house and you've been telling it like it is. You've been doing what you want, when you want, how you want, because you want. It moves into your second house on the fourth and helps you create more money. Because Mars is what we throw ourselves into. Mars comes first to us. The sun, the yellow planet, the giver of life, is in your second house, and it has been helping you and will continue to help to, you create more income until the 23rd when it moves into your third house of communication, correspondence, and transportation, and you've got great ideas. Are you writing a book? Are you writing a blog? You're gonna get bored easily, so make sure you have lots of activities going on. Venus, the pink planet. Venus is love and beauty and money. It's been in your second house, so your income should be looking really good. On the eighth, it moves into your third house and brings loving thoughts. You'll see you're, there's a happiness when Venus entered, enters our third house. It's been in your second, and it rules the natural second house in the zodiac. So, yeah. Now, Mercury, the blue planet. Mercury rules communication, correspondence, transportation, wherever it is. That's what you think about. It's been in your second. Whatever you think about grows, your money growing. On the eighth, Venus enters your third. On the, on the third, Mercury enters your third house. And so the sun, Venus, and Mercury will all be in that third house by the end of the month, helping you communicate brilliantly. Now, we have a full moon on October 13th. The full moon is in 20 degrees of Aries, and things come to a head on the full moon. This is the eighth house of joint finances, other people's money, helping them create money, working with other people financially. It brings it to a head. Then the moon starts waning, and two weeks later, we have the new moon. Oh, wow about two days before the new moon, there's no energy. So keep that in mind and on the new moon in your third house, that's when you wanna travel, you wanna communicate, you start new projects. Now, speaking of communication, the planet Mercury is going to go retrograde, stationary retrograde, October 31st. And it will stay retrograde till November 21st. We will be in the shadow of the retrograde on October 11th. And that means while Mercury is retrograde, everything is confused. We don't start new projects. We tie up the loose ends of old projects. In the shadow, we start feeling the retrograde. So we're going to be feeling it a couple of weeks ahead. After it goes direct, it will still be in the shadow until December 8th. So if you can wait until after December 8th to put your, those new projects into action, do so. Only because um, you don't want to start a new project while, the, while Mercury is officially retrograde. On the sh during the shadow, there's still that feeling that Mercury is retrograde. So you, if you're gonna start a new project, then double check everything, okay? That's my suggestion. So, until we meet again next month, may the stars shine brightly on you and yours. <laughs>